we might know it best from the Disney film, or Tim Burton's inventive reimagining. 100 Books You Must Read, number 49, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, by Lewis Carroll. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland is commonly published together with its sequel, Through the Looking Glass, in which Alice walks through a mirror into a backwards world, and where she meets Tweedledum and Tweedledee. But wait, that's not the book I meant to be talking about. In case you don't actually know the story already, which is unlikely, one day Alice sees a rabbit. Not in itself an unlikely event, but he is wearing a waistcoat and looking at a pocket watch. That's the more unlikely part. Following the rabbit, Alice falls down a long, long hole into Wonderland, where she drinks things that make her get smaller, eats things that make her get bigger, talks with flowers, sees a caterpillar with a hookah, meets the Cheshire Cat, whose smile disappears long after the rest of him does, has a tea party with the Mad Hatter and a March Hare and a Dormouse, plays croquet with a flamingo and a hedgehog instead of the more regular bat and ball, and encounters a playing card queen with an obsession for the phrase, off with her head. Many of the conversations Alice has play delightfully with logic, as this one. You should say what you mean, the March Hare went on. I do, Alice hastily replied. At least, at least I mean what I say. That's the same thing, you know. Not the same thing a bit, said the Hatter. Why, you might just as well say that I see what I eat is the same thing as I eat what I see. You might just as well say, added the March Hare, that I like what I get is the same thing as I get what I like. You might just as well say, added the Dormouse, which seemed to be talking in its sleep, that I breathe when I sleep is the same thing as I sleep when I breathe. It is the same thing with you, said the Hatter. Lewis Carroll's real name was Charles Lutwidge Dodgson, who in real life refused to be associated with anything written under his pen name. And now, just a little poetry to brighten your day. Jabberwocky, a brilliant nonsense poem by Lewis Carroll, from his book Through the Looking Glass. Twas brillig, and the slithy toves did gyre and gimble in the wabe. All mimsy were the borgoves, and the momraths of grape. Beware the jabberwock, my son, the jaws that bite, the claws that catch. Beware the jubjub bird, and shun the frumious bandersnatch. He took his vorpal sword in hand, long time the mangsome foe he sought. So rested he by the tum-tum tree, and stood a while in thought. And as in uffish thought he stood, the jabberwock with eyes of flame came whiffling through the tulgy wood, and burbled as it came. One, two, one, two, and through and through the vorpal blade went snicker-snack. He left it dead, and with its head he went galumphing back. And hast thou slain the jabberwock? Come to my arms, my beamish boy. O frabjous day, kalu kale! he trottled in his joy. Twas brillig, and the slithy toves did gyre and gimble in the wabe. All mimsy were the borgoves, and the momraths of grave.